16 armor, which is terrifying. And I want to promote you further so you can get more armor. I need you to walk in and tank and kill. Whilst Rook crushes armor. Hmm. Alright, excellent. What does everyone have against Eckel? He tried to kill us. I think that's a pretty good reason. Outside the walls, things are a mess. Dredge are everywhere. Fortunately, they're going around the hill on which Frostville stirs, heading south. Show a little interest in following you as you cross the wastes. Uh, you're finally free of Frostville, but find yourself facing new problems. You hope whoever Ivor knows at Wormtoe is willing to help. Well, onwards. I like that place. Give me loads of supplies. Strongly considering setting up camp for a bit, though. Let's uh, have ourselves healed up. Look, we got loads of supplies, so. We got good morale, but we could have great morale. Alright, Hoagie, Mogi, what do you have to... Th Take it easy for a while. People are noticing. They've noticed, have they? We're on the edge of dying daily, and you want me to take it easy. Gods, I should be plowing twice as many fields. You come running every time you hear yelling, must be why you look so tired. <laughs> We're lucky you could go your whole life with no goals, no purpose, nothing to fight against but boredom and hunger. I'm glad for all of this. Well, between us, I think I agree. Truthfully, always thought you were a bit of an ass. <laughs> you know you've met someone worth knowing if they're willing to tell you that. Should catch a drink with them later on if we can. Or other, uh, otherwise, let's just keep on moving. Hit that trail. Jake, have you heard about Expedition Conquistador? You may want to check it out. I played it before. I thought it was pretty good. I just didn't come back to it. it looked huge. A well-tended farm with plenty of livestock draws the caravan's attention. Upon your arrival, the farmer and his workers stand defensively within plain sight, crude weapons at the ready. Their crossed arms make their thoughts clear without a word. I very much think we should just uh, kill them and take their stuff. However... I feel with this kind of game, that's a big trap. So maybe we can have some kind of trade. No big surprise, you'd be more interested in the animals than me and mine. The answer is no, I'll leave these men watching you so none of my livestock just happen to follow you away. It's time to take by force. Your warriors step forward unsheathing weapons and practically growling, the farmer's men blanch and step aside as you choose the heartiest beasts. Aha, uh -huh. you catch a gl glance of a let who stares at her feet does not make eye contact. We made a good choice, daughter. Learn from me. The caravan is buzzing with worry. The dredge! They don't look like dredge. Worse than dredge, it's... Oh, yes, I get a chance to kill Eckle! Eckel, why would he? Unless he's after you on F, he's insane and unpredictable. That's a good number of fighters with him. Your mind races considering what to do. Peacefully. No, we will kill him. You gather on F, your allies and fighters, and head out to the waste weapons drawn where the caravan won't be involved. Rook, my good friend. We come to parley, not to fight. Talk to the ground, friend. Rook, we're good friends. What happened? 
Why are we talking? Why are we not killing? Broke into my city, took my warriors, took my food, then killed some people so you could take more food! That was a nice touch. Took one of my best men. How are you on after they treat you well? <laughs> I haven't survived because I'm crazy. I did what I had to be done to make it to Frostvale. The only mistake I made was you. What kind of man are you? You look like an average man. A man worried about his daughter, maybe, just making his way. Where's the I kill you option? Yeah, I'm nobody special. Oh, but you are special. You think everyone was born to lead and make hard decisions? Why do these people think you are? You saved them. You're a hero. Maybe that's more important. I'm your prisoner, Rook. Bind my hands. Frostvel is done. I can't survive. And thanks to you, my good friends, you may, you may not have cut my throat, but you sentenced us to death. Kill Echel on the spot, I don't even have to think. You reach slowly for an arrow, let gr Daughter, let go. Daddy has business to tend to. No, this is how it has to be. He has to die. You deftly pull the arrow and aim at Echel's head. He looks straight into your eyes, unflinching. This isn't how it has to be. It's your choice. Correct. The arrow pierces his eye, he falls over, dead in an instant, and Alette gasps in shock. She runs to Odalif and embraces her. Echel was always the wild dog, you made the right choice, Shrook. I agree, Oneth. I'm glad I have such a great right-hand man here. Weapons of the other men are gathered up, they're left in the wastes. The caravan continues on without a word. Yes. Morale's uh, taken a bit of a hit, but I rested and gave them food, so I think they understand my decision. Morale should be increased, not decreased. You got fresh meat, says Rainbow. You find a surprising number of people camped out at the Godstone. They've been there for quite a while, ever since the sun stopped. Apparently they think Radomir, the sun god, has come back. They have almost nothing of value to trade, but their leader approaches and offers you to offers to let you join in in their tribute. What exactly does this involve? Gulen Free. He places liquid on his chest, almost sounds like it's sizzling, and explains through clenched teeth it's a gift from the sun gods. An oil that burns like the sun and lets him see things clearly. Hey, let's give it a go! Bravely, you give the offer a chance. When you apply the oil, your skin burns like a hot brand, but you bear it. it doesn't reveal any secrets of the universe, but the worships are, the worshippers are impressed by your courage and gift you more oil to take. Let's check out the godstone, what's going on. Nobody agrees on what he looked like. Well, the gods were real, right? It's just that they're all dead. I wonder why they all died. The biggest mystery has always been how his godstone came to be found at the bottom of a dried out lake. Oh, what was that? Tarkinrex says, I might actually be leveling up from YouTube Scrub to a live view if I keep catching you online. Well, I try to be online quite a bit. Let's check out what this goodie is that I just picked up. I'm also strongly considering resting up to both improve morale and improve Ivor. Hang on, Ivor's fine now, isn't he? Yeah, I already did the resting. Yeah. Uh, Oneth. You're pretty rubbish, aren't you? No, you've got run through. Two armor break to each character he runs through, then he stops behind his target and stabs them for normal strength damage. This allows the character to move through both friend and foe, giving him the highest mobility. He's most useful. Uh, break damage to each character he runs through. It doesn't say enemy, it says character, so it might hurt my friends. 
hard to know. And he's a backbiter. He's got shield wall standing next to an ally. The character creates a shield wall, raising the armor, both himself and his ally, by one. His bonus remains until the raider is no longer adjacent. Goody. Is so this your first playthrough? Oh yeah, uh, this is blind and a half. Right, but I was given something. Crit chance. What is crit and how does it work? I might never know. A let's got her crummy charm. It does a lot of good stuff. It's a shame that a let has to be the one using it. Well, she doesn't have to, but... God, I love that strength resist. Okay, let's keep on grilling. No need for training or resting or anything. We leave. Several people have noticed black vultures circling above the caravan, taking advantage of the light snowfall. They pose no threat, but they have a visible impact on the mood of your clansmen. The next time you look back, Oddleaf is firing arrows into the air, which nearly tag the birds once or twice. Get lost. No dead down here. Join her in shooting the vultures. Yeah, we should really shoot the breeze together sometimes. The first person to knock one out of the sky gets their wish granted, you announce. Several of the caravan give it a try, including a let, enjoying the sport and turning around morale. It's no big surprise when one of Oddleaf's blue feathered arrows brings down a bird. Yeah, no, says Oddleaf. A lot of these women, they could do this. You can tell from the look in her eyes she's excited about the idea. I think I'm going to start training them how to fight. Yeah, make it so. We can always use more fighters. If a let is any proof, you know how to train someone with a bow. Hmm, I have a feeling we're going to have archery accident. As long as it's not Ivor, we're okay. Man, people just can't handle a bit of a, a bit of a trek here. An old man sits astride. An overgrown portion of the trail. You lost? No, are you? I've seen better, the old man says, peering into the supply wagons, but I'll join you. He stands next to a fighter, throws his beard over his shoulder, and puffs up his chest. The fighter grins, and the stranger exhales, asking, What are we waiting for? Lead the way. Who are you? What are you doing here? Call me Unar, or anything else you like. A man goes where he pleases, doesn't he? His stern look is more comical than intimidating. But you stop looking for answers. Yeah, come along. As long as you're better than Raffenschnaffer, or whoever the drunkard was. No fleeter than old Unar. Husbands, mind your wives. I'm cursed with a golden tongue, not silver. Oh, okay. Don't know why joining, uh, him joining in improved morale for 500 people. The gaunt man and woman approach the caravan, hands held high. A word, friends, the man says. We're poor farmers, and down in our luck. The woman hits him and says, we're outlaws, plain and simple. Ten of us will help you in a fight for some food up front. Uh, what are your crimes? Misunderstandings. Mead houses are confusing. Never know when you've drank your share. The woman hits him and says, We've stolen, killed a few when we had to. Skills that might benefit you. Get away. I don't take criminals here. We are so much more than... The man stops. They nod and shuffle away. Supplies have gone missing. Figures. Well, they would have stolen it anyway if they joined in. Can't trust these people. We should rest. Weak morale. Ivor was never the kind of place someone would build a town. Fittingly, the Var living here aren't known for welcoming visitors with open arms. Well, if he says we should rest, then we should rest. We'll keep morale good for now. I don't like resting unless it's to heal up my party, though.
The VAR will find you before you see them, not surprising. With this many people behind you with weapons drawn, they demand to know why you're here. But back down when Ivor tells them he's come to see someone named Crummer. Alright, lead the way, Ivor. Well, I'll be damned. What brings Ngvar to Wormto? His very own village of humans. Bad news, Dredge are coming down from the north. We've barely made it. Come on, we have food. Yes, mead. As you follow the old Varl into the meager town, you catch him quietly saying, if it were anyone else. I could do with some mead. I've talked with the warriors here, I'll be honest with you. Half want to go north and find out what happened at Blot's Balker. Some think we should go to Grofheim instead. None of them are happy you're here. <laughs> if I had it my way, I'd stay here and let the dredge come. But you made this a problem, didn't you? We can't feed this many people for long, even if they don't eat much. It's a varl town. Most of us take care of ourselves. You've got women and children. We could pitch in and make it livable. No. Doesn't work like that, Rook. Try thinking outside the box. It's Krummer's call. It won't be long before the dredge are here too. No, it won't. If there's one thing we should do, it's tell Jorunder what's going on. The Varl King. Didn't the Varl King die? Once you're ready to go, we do. I'm going to see though see off those who want to head north. But I'll join you to Grofheim. Oh, that's nice. Stop the pouting, girly. Even if Jornan won't listen to a tired old Var like me, I have a feeling they'll pay attention to your friend Ngvar. They'll listen to Ivor. What's up, Ivor? Can you spare a moment, Krummer? Mostly no. <laughs> Never had a moment to thank you for the hospitality. Tell me about your stories. Or I could be the most boring Varl you ever met. Depends on how much you like killing Dredge. <laughs> I like killing Dredge a lot, almost as much as my fellow man. Ask me again someday, I might tell you about the time we killed a dead yox with whale teeth. And why? Hmm, I'm surprised he can stand being around anyone at all. Your friend was one of us long ago, the Dredge bashing type. And if you want to know why he changed his name, best ask him yourself. I'm too old to peddle in gossip. After the Second Great War, wasn't much left for me to do. He started training. Got tired of that. Made a place. They still come calling, even with no war to speak of. Any wisdom on fighting the dredge? Yeah, I could do with uh, fighting them cleaner. Always down to the last man. They're all armor, tap them hard enough, it'll shatter. Line up a whole row of slag, they'll explode on each other all the way down. You get in a big brawl, half your time is spent setting them up for it. If you see one bang his axe, like a tuning fork, try to kill him quick. Sometimes the slag he's calling won't even show up. I really like these varl people. Still, we should hit up market. Might be able to see our renown gets us a lot more food this time. That said, I don't want to spend all my renown. I need that for um, for leveling people up. One armor per rest? No, there's no time for resting. Knockback. Well, it all sounds cool, but I'll just take the supplies and carry on, thanks. Oh, yeah, he's joining us, isn't he? I could do with another damage dealer. I could really do with another armor breaker, though. He's only level 1, which is strange for such an old man. But uh, I might replace one of our more useless members. Looking at you, archers. I like ranged attack, but your stats are garbage. Onif doesn't look particularly useful either. I'm not even sure if it's worth having him around. But I love run through. I mean, that, that looks like it does a ton of armor damage. Oh, right, he only runs through two tiles, though. That's four break damage at the best of days. Yeah, but the stab for normal damage means it's armor and, uh, and regular damage. I should 
Mm, what is regular damage for him? Not a lot. But if I got him better, he could run through a whole lot of them. Alright, he could well be useful. That said, you know, I want to use this guy. I also would quite like to level up Morgan further. The more useful of the two brothers. I don't think I've got it all figured out, but I do know that I never put Old Leaf to any uh, remarkable amount of use. But um, having big guys with archers behind them seems quite useful. Damn it, why do I have to make tough decisions like this? I definitely want two giant Varl on the team. And I want archers behind them, but I like On Leaf. But I want Hogan. Okay. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Let's get out of here. Grofium's quite a few days out, but nothing's worse than crossing the wastes, I imagine. If there's anywhere you might be safe from the dredge, it's there. You steal yourself for not a long march in half the town of... Oh, that means we've got Varl joining. And they brought supplies with them, which is good, because uh, I imagine the Varl eat a lot of supplies. Rook is also an archer. You have two anyway. Yeah, but... Yeah. I far prefer it when Rook goes up and kills things with his axe, because it looks better. Also got Eggle killed, but what can you do? Better that Eggle died early. The caravan consists of more clansmen than you ever expected. Accusations of stolen chickens, missing heirlooms, and concerns over daughters' virtues, those sorts of things you hear relentlessly. Even fighters complain of spreading too thin to protect everyone. Mm, I don't like dealing with these, so I'll let a council handle it. You select a few older members to solve everyday issues, but in fighting neuters their progress, they could have done a better job. Ultimately, while it buys some time, the council dissolves, tired of the thankless and demanding work. It's all of those things. A flurry of snowfall seems to come out of nowhere and quickly thickens until you're unable to see the map in front of you. You shout out a complete halt, but the screaming winds are draw, uh, drown out in the sound. A day passes before the blizzard abates. Well, goodbye supplies. Quickly becomes apparent that not everybody is where you last saw them, and a quick search of the area is not enough to recover all the missing clansmen. <laughs> Blessing for the lost. Uh, no, it's a thorough search. We don't lose anybody around here. It takes time to establish proper search teams, but I should devise a way to quickly cover much ground. After a full day of searching, you find many survivors. Your successes are dampened by a number of frozen bodies and others who have simply vanished. Okay, that probably didn't help. Oh, Jing's morale is uh, grimbo. Just rest up for a bit. Just enough to keep it normal, though. I uh, I want to rest when I have injured people. Hopefully, I get a fight soon. Getting itchy fists here. This looks so good, though. Looks like the old animated Lord of the Rings. Oh cool, it's all the fighters who are up at the very front. The godstone of Marek looms into view. Upon it carved a great ocean beast. Jagged stones jut out of the snow like f shark fins. It's hard to imagine the Norfelling wastes being filled with water at one time, but the godstone stands as a reminder of the vast lake it used to look across. A blessing, shouts one of the men in the caravan, holding up a silver coin. It's a fish scale. Hmm. Perhaps they'll bring us luck. Oh, nice. Before long, the caravan is obsessed with uh, gathering shining scales. 
Eh, take your time, maybe a fight will come to us. By the end of the second day, the scavenger hunt still continues unabated. And even you're starting to feel something in the back of your mind, like you need to have one of those scales. No, we must take all of them. Another day before the fervor calms down, and you think there must have been something unnatural about it, because the last scale was found, the obsession suddenly abated. The next morning, uh, some men present a gleaming coat of mail to you. We made this from the scales. You graciously accept the gift. Oh, yes. Oh, I've got a good team here. Although I don't know if a fish scale piece of armor is going to work. This isn't Monster Hunter. But I imagine if it was. Oddleaf calls you over, grinning. A row of women holding bows of different age and experience line up for a row of trees. They fire. An impressive job is done. I feel like it's time for an accident. One woman still isn't shot her arrow. She stands perfectly still. The others watch. Her arrow flies not into one of the trees, but a snow rabbit that has scurried out. Dinner, she says. Group of men from the caravan. Listen here. Practice all you want. My wife isn't fighting dredge. We don't want to see a battlefield full of dead wives and daughters. Hmm. Hmm. This is probably going to hurt morale, or people might even leave, but uh, it's the current year, guys. To be honest, this was already harder than I expected. I don't know how many more would really take to it, but the more people who can hold their own, the better. The men continue to complain. The women return to camp not as clansmen, but as fighters. Oh, what? Morale improved? They weren't happy. Ah, there's the morale decline we're looking for. A trail of blood leads to a clearing where you find large wounded Varl. He's gnawing on his shield, swearing at no one in particular, and occasionally slamming his cudgel on the ground. If not for the heavy bleeding, he'd leave this one alone without a second thought. Um, we can help if you want. He won't want it. Let's just leave some medicine and walk away. I know what these guys are like. You fill a basket with food, needle and thread, and a few poultices. The varl growls at you as you place the basket. We walk away, and the next day the giant catches up. I will fight for you. Yes! Is it a, is it a real varl? Or is it one of those fake varls? Yeah. Faker than that wall in China. Okay, let's keep going. I'm also being asked to check out the armor that we picked up. Sure, I haven't seen it either. Let's see. A lot of loading in this game. No, that's the burning. Where's my armor? Ah, here we go. Iridescent scales from fish blessed by the gods. Marek were on rare occasion gathered, made into lightweight armor padding. Three armor is a lot of armor. I know who I'd like to have that, but my god, it wouldn't fit him. Uh, still, three armor is really good. It's not enough to make me pass up three willpower, though. I should give it to someone like Krummer. So you could go in heavy armor and heavy damage. But we need levels to make that happen, and for levels we need kills and promotions. But this you'll need to be level 3 for, so I could make you level 5, you level 3, and then I have some real tanky damage dealers. But they don't use, um, they don't use willpower, and willpower is good. So the armor is plus 3 armor, just needs to be level 5 to use. Oh, why is everyone so sad? I'm going to set up camp a lot more than I want to. What's aggro? It's uh, making enemies come to you and hit you instead of others. I don't like it as a stat because it's uh, it's not very easy to figure out how exactly it's working. You hear a whistle in the wind, you spot a long line of varl. Behind them is a swarm of dredge and a trail of bodies 
get down here, barks Crummer. Uh, okay. Can we kill some dredge now? It's been... It's been an hour and a half and we haven't laid a finger on the dredge. No, that's not true. We fought them at the very start. Don't let them spread out, shouts the lead varl as you approach the battleground. Soon, you almost regret finding yourself fighting alongside them, facing off against a daunting number of dredge. Dredge line the battlefield, weapons drawn, the fight seems inevitable. There's at least 129 of them. We have oh, well, we got a lot more than that. No, no, those are clansmen. Uh, well, we outnumber them. We're evenly matched, there's no guarantee of victory here. Uh, then we should stick to our formations, of course. You start comparing weaknesses and strengths, taking into account terrain, morale, and the look of your enemy. If you're careful, you should be able to keep your forces balanced. I mean, shouldn't we always just charge? You consider taking your trusted allies and leading the charge. It'll throw you into thick a battle where fighting is most dangerous. But a strong charge can save lives. It's the only way to do it, right? Training isn't for leveling, it's just for testing out strategies yourself. Ooh, we have somebody joining us, and it's another Varl. It's a super tanky Varl. One that I can promote immediately. I could give him loads of shield, and he could just stand in the front tanking. Which would be quite useful. I like people that have shield and break shield. Oh, especially if he's got malice. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, man, this is getting really hard to decide who to have on the team. I like Owen F, but I'm probably going to have to chuck Owen F to the side. I like Hogan and Mogan, but I think we can only keep Mogan for now. And uh, we'll keep our daughter. Come on, the big cheeses go first. What is Mogi even good for? He's just an all-round so-so. Bloody flail is useful because it still does decent damage when you yourself are injured, so I don't mind having that. Um, Alright, let's armor you up. Although I do love armor break, we have Rook to break armor. Just get in there and tank. We know him, right, from the other story branch? Yeah, probably, but uh, I can't remember such a guy. If I promote you, I lose the last of my renown. I like having renown. But I also like striking enemies many times. Hmm. Well, I'm going to spend money to make money, and we'll get some renown from this, uh, this fight anyway. He's also level 3, that could be useful to me. Uh, but what's it going to do? Generally, armor and arming is quite good, but and he can't break things very well anyway. Mm, yeah, let's just make him a general fighter. Okay. One last thing. When it comes to items, I have lots of them. And now that I have you at level 3, you could easily take some of this. You're not very strong, you're just tanky. Dodge strength might be good for you. I still don't understand what dodge strength is. Is that when they're not strong enough to hurt you, you can dodge it? That might be good for him, but I just don't know. Level 5 things look great, but need to be level 5. It's a bit of a problem. Crit chance. No, since he's going to be tanking, let's have him have a chance to actually avoid things. There you go, friend. If you're level 3, you could have something better than plus 1 will per kill. You could have plus 2 will per kill. Or a chance to crit. I don't expect you to kill many people. But if you do, do it well. You call this a dredge army. That said, there are four slingers. Not a big fan of slings. Uh, Rook. I don't know your range. I never know your range. Is it five? How am I meant to know? Hmm. 
but I really don't like slingers. Uh, I need super tank man over to the side there, because I feel like we're going to get flanked. How is that for sore eyes then? You just stand behind the giant tank and you'll probably be okay. When things come into range, and hopefully they do, you take a shot and make it count. Alright, let's see how it works out. Nice, I can hit you. Could tenderize you. When are you going? Hmm. Might be better just to tenderize you. You only have nine armor. You could even come in and lay the smack down. Hell, you could come in and lay the smack down. That slinger breaks a lot of armor. I want him straight up dead. Who else breaks armor? They have nobody else that's particularly good at breaking armor, which is good. I'm looking for who can exert willpower. None of them can particularly well. Okay, so he needs to die. Whether I break armor or break his face, it's fairly irrelevant. Um, I think I'd rather break his face, though. You're going to come in 12, 12, 3. Yep. Yeah. Do it, Rook. Oh, damn, I didn't expect him to run away. That could cause problems. Ah, no, the big cheese can maul him down, but you get a go soon. You don't have much attack, you can't break armor, so I'm not scared of you. You're going to be in range to hurt the big guy, but the big guy can strike back. nowhere you can go to really do much other than get into range of you, but then you're in range of a lot of stuff. Well, you don't break a lot of armor, but you do break some. I'm gonna have to take that. Let's try not to overexert ourselves here. Knock back up to four tiles for three break. Three break. I could break four, but shoving him back seems like a waste of time. Break that armor. <sighs> or deal tons of damage. Now let's break the armor. Then others could actually do some damage. What the heck is that? Those shard stones are probably going to explode before I want them to. Never checked your thing. Select an ally to move forward in initiative. Splash it. Yeah, whatever. I want the guy that breaks armor dead. Your own armor is not amazing, but let's get you over here. War leader. Achievement get. moving a bit too aggressively here, but oh well. I could take his malice. That 15 attack of his is kind of frightening, but it's not frightening enough. He can't get into range of anybody else. I'd rather neuter him a bit. And then there's this joke. Ah, I'm out of range. However, if I stand here, I'm safe from all of this. All the while still able to do damage. You should probably get out of there. Seems dangerous. I could attack you for four. Or we could try our new friend, the Bloody Flail, for a lot. I kind of want to see it in action. 
Oh. I like what I see. All right, Rook. You could maul him before he does that, but I have other opportunity to kill him, I'm sure. Well, if I kill two, then he'll get a chance before you can slaughter him. Still, Rook's good at what he does. Don't want to exert too much willpower. Maybe I should just kill that slinger. Do nothing here. I like leaving people neutered, but we have tons of armor. I don't see these guys doing too much against us. Let's just take him out. Oh, very good. Speaking of leaving people neutered. This guy will get an attack in soon, and I can largely prevent that. Ooh. Unexpected. Alright, he gets a turn soon, so I can't kill you. That's fine, doesn't look like I will. You, however, you can die. By a death fitting of the dredge. Neuter or break? Four is a lot of damage. Who's going to follow up? Alette for ten. I just barely do any. Um, no, we're going to. Who else can come in and deal some real damage to you? 12 on 9 isn't a lot either. I hate to do this, but let's bring that armor down. What the heck? There's a bigger explosion than I thought. Well, thankfully, I've still got enough to take you down. As long as I have a little bit of willpower, this should work. No thank you. That said, having them summon more could be useful. Oh damn, you exerted willpower for that. Uh, I should probably go for the pillage on this guy. Or the, uh, well, whoever I take down first. Regardless though. Good job, my daughter. Good job, my daughter. Mogi's got 12, 13, 14, with 6 off. And then Rook goes in for the kill. And I don't really fear that guy so much. Alright, sounds good. Let's not overexert on willpower here. The fight is not yet over. Look at him, he's desperate. Desperation will be adequately rewarded with death. Uh, regain some willpower. Like I said, the fight is not yet over. Ah, Fasolt, you are also low on willpower. I think I should just let Rook finish this guy off whilst everybody else gets a decent rest. How is Rook on willpower? He's got quite a lot. Right, Mogan doesn't. I will toot the horn and let him rest, and then Rook will finish you off. Make it matter, Rook. 
Hell yes, you take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy has been pushed back all the way down the line. You should take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down more dredge would rally your fighters and save a few lives. You won't have time to rest or change party, but a chance to loot your enemies might even reveal items that they took from previous victims. I think it's time to kill any dredge that still move. <laughs> Only three? Come now, game. You know me better than that. Who breaks armor? You break armor. Ergo, I break you. I don't have any willpower to exert on you, sadly. You should be able to lay the smacketh down as well. Ah, right, there we go. Yeah, you got two willpower. Um... I'm not really hurting the people that get goes here, but still. That is a bit unfortunate. You won't be able to move in and deal some damage. So he will be able to break armor still. Oh well, I'm just doing what I can do. <sighs> armor breaking's not a big threat at this point, or so I imagine. I just need to sufficiently neuter these folks so they can't do much. Crummer, you break armor. Not amazingly well, but... Enough for the follow-up to work. Oh, good, we split them up. Maybe that's not good, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, I should be tooting my horn more. Oh, I didn't see him. Hmm. I should very much work on the uh, on the pillage against him, but I should I should also get far away from his uh, from his range. That guy can't do much, even if he exerts willpower. I will stand here and slaughter him, though, because you know what you can't spell slaughter without. Okay, Rook, my boy. Take that armor down, please. Even though this guy could just cleave him in half anyway. And will be cleaving him in half anyway. Hmm, making exerting willpower here seem like a waste. Because if you just do three, you're going to be down to five. Mm, they could still hurt him a bit. Let's not take chances here. 22 damage. Oh my Jesus, I need to pillage him. Alright, speaking of things we need to do, I need both of these guys dead. Oh, I hope those things explode. Ah. Dang, I don't have the willpower to exert on this. Actually, I'm in trouble for hitting that guy and not getting hit by him. Okay, you have a chance to run away before he comes and does terrible things to you. But Okay, there's Rook. Rook gets his, atta his attack in on here. That's fine. Wait, that's not fine. How do you deal four? Ah, he's an armor breaker. Right, even you'll get one shot by that at this rate. I need you to take a step back. I need a lot of steps taken back right now. Okay, Rook. Make it matter. Alright, fortunately I can run circles around this guy. 
That doesn't mean I particularly want to. Let's see his range. He can only exert one. Let's just make sure we stay way out of his range until we can deal some serious damage to him. Uh, that means Rook armor breaking him twice and then everybody else going in. He should be fine there. Just rest easy. Oh dear god, you will die in a heartbeat. Clump, clump, clump. Probably better that you walk up here for a bit. So that his clump and days don't hit you. Moogly man, you're in the biggest danger, but you're not quite in danger. So get yourself over there. Rook. Stay out of his range. Uh-oh. I'm not sure if there is being out of his range, but also getting an attack in. Because he can go to there, and if you stand there, then you're in for a whole world of pain. Oh dear. Hmm. Jeez, I do not have the armor piercing capability on this guy to really bring him down. Okay, I still have 12 damage, right? I can... Alright, everybody else needs to move in and shatter his armor, and then Rook uh, neuters him. That has to be how it goes. I'm not sure if everybody else is on the menu here. You can go in and deal four armor damage. Nobody else can reach him. Need to get outside of that range for now. Well, no, if I neuter him, then somebody with good armor can get in the way, but I don't have someone with good armor right now. Seven might be able to do. That might be able to do better. I was trying to move into a more advantageous position here. Like there. Good, then I'm away from him. That should be away as well. Good. I haven't used Forge Ahead. What does that do? I can move him next. Alright, let's see how this goes. Hey, that would be useful to use on uh, on Rook. If it gets two, uh, two goes like that. That's cool and all, but... Uh just rest up. Again, let's get into a favorable position. So I'd like you to be there, please. Which means oogly moogly should be alright there. You can expend the... Uh, the everything you need to race in on him, right? Alright, you're the one that's not in an advantageous position right now. Get your sorry self away from him. That position should be okay. Okay. Now, let's see if you can forge ahead with... Rook, my lad. Does Rook get two shots? Rook does not get two shots. But he can deal massive armor-piercing damage and let everybody else get an attack in for 9, 12, and 12. It's got to be done. Alright, make it matter.
that uh, damage output of his is extremely threatening. Oh, I could malice him, so he only attacks you. Uh, the alternative is that he hits Ivor for quite a lot. Or pretty much anybody else for quite a lot. But no, let's just lay the smacketh down. Fear not the malice. Go in for the kill. Oh, please! I want more to kill. I think we should just let him do this. Then we can re-pillage. I mean, he's gonna die next turn anyway. I haven't seen this work before, so I want to see it. Wait, what if it summons tons of them? Then it'll be exciting to see. Oh, they're still being pillaged! That is so cute! I'm a bit threatened by his high many things, actually, so... Let's just make sure he can't deal much damage. Or really any damage at all. Speaking of not dealing any damage, or existing at all... Mm, you know, sometimes it all just comes together. Jake, do you have any plans to play the new Frostpunk DLC? Yes, I'll be streaming that for much of the day on Friday. This Friday. <laughs> that felt good. And nobody of value was lost. Isn't this a damn curiosity? I don't know, is it? This is the second time I've been sent to find a Varl who's heading my direction with humans in tow. What are the dredge doing? Gods, does nobody know what's going on around here? They leveled Groff him to the ground. We've been losing ground for days. Jonder's in Enartoft now. They sent me to gather Krum and the rest from Worm Tow. We ran across this bunch of slag and there's a lot more where they came from. Is this all the varl you've got? What have you been doing? Eating each other. <laughs> then he went to Blotzbalker. Are you telling me Groffheim is completely gone? And Vokner's dead. Slag on our heels, the varl you sent off north are probably dead. The world is ending. This is old news. We're gathering in Enartoft. That's where we need to go right now. He takes a long moment to look over the caravan of men, women, and children. Not them. I think I'll die before you send us away. You might. <laughs> oh me, oh my. What in the death happened at Grofheim? Even though it's beyond sight, all eyes turn in Grofheim's direction as the rumbling becomes deafening, transforming quickly into cracking and splintering. It's coming closer. Go. Don't stop until you reach Hardborg. Hmm. What in the world is that? Well, it's probably too big to care about us, so let's just move and not worry. Jake, is there any chance for a return of RCT in the future? Do you mean Roller Coaster Tycoon? Because not for a while, I'd imagine. I had great fun with that game, but I don't want to beat it into the ground, unlike Frost.